Okay, what is up? It's Friday night. This is a mess still in here. I haven't put the tools away or nothing. Not quite done. Just ran out of time. Uh, so, uh, so far, I left it running on manual. My controller is not running the VFD yet. It's just, uh, so it just shows it off. Looks pretty cool, though. I just got it on manual, just set for 35 hertz. And... Pressure's still a little high, but it's better than it was closer to 120 earlier. Because these regulators just are malfunctioned, they don't work anymore. So this is actually cheaper to do this than repair like you know a couple of these regulators. So it's starting to look pretty good. I'm my tools out of the way there, uh, and this is all 480 volt down here. So I mean it's pretty clean right there. Um, I still got some wiring to do for some LEDs to the front. I got to relabel this. That's kind of how I did it, but uh, got the wire and the little raceways. Recycled a lot of that. Those are two uh, video studio contactors, so it's on pump number one right now. Is that 15 horse motor running right there? Uh, only this gauge ain't hooked up yet, but that one is. So. Display. This is the new VFD. So it's just running on manual, I'm just running it uh, manually. So if I turn it off, it'll ramp down, decelerate the motor. The pressure's going to start dropping, especially depending on how much water is being used in the building. But we got to have the pressure bumped up from city pressure, which is anywhere between 55 and 60 generally. Uh, right now it's like over 60, doing pretty good. But uh, being six floors, you know, uh, that's not enough PSI to <laughs> get very good water pressure. In fact, I had it off for a couple hours. We had a bunch of complaints. So, uh, I'll start it back up. It will Let's see if I can get this all in view and a wide screen here. Focus on that area. Manual start. So see the pressure start going up at the same time. It's like a soft start, you know. Go up to 35. There we go. Um, so basically, there's a lot to uh, program in these things. But I'll, just, I'll go through the menu, okay, once, just to kind of show you what there is, you know, just that you can uh, have to adjust. Still scrolling. Still scrolling. Back to the functions right there. That's that's how many settings are in there. That's why it takes a while to set this stuff. So uh, I can go in here and set stuff. Like the max frequency is set for 35. That's why it's at 35 because I limited it. I'm not running off of the inputs right now. Um, but you know the pressure sensor. Right there goes to there and it goes to here. So, and then you got it, but you got to configure it. And then I got to, you know, configure it for the remote contacts so that will switch it, you know, so I could do all that stuff I was talking about. So, I'll continue this project on Monday when I come back to work. But um, there's my mushroom fan I also put in up there. I mean, that does look pretty cool though, don't it? I mean, it's not too bad. And maybe some point, uh, He'll let me order uh, circuit boards on the internet or something with the company credit card or something. I could design them and have them made, you know, with actual traces and just drop my parts on it, you know, and some maybe a couple connectors, get some uh, connectors from DigiKey or something and uh, lay out everything real nice. But it came out pretty good. Uh, I got a couple temporary connections right there. I did have to re-solder or re-change a few things. That always happens as I'm doing, basically doing R&D on the fly. But pretty clean. To be continued.